Give me cock. Simple. Morning guys, thanks for clicking on Outsider, um, it's Monday, July the 5th, I'm going to show you a shelter today, again made from a poncho, and even though we got trees around us now which we could hitch up to, I'm going to show you how to make a freestanding poncho setup. what I've done, I've just cut two four foot lengths of tree branch and I'm going to use them to make a bipod and I'm going to show you a really simple way to do it now okay so that's all you're going to need guys is your poncho some paracord I just tried to loop in the end I'm going to use one top clip I'm going to use four stakes and the two branches I cut at four foot. That's all you're going to need. That's all I'm going to do, guys, to make the bipod. Length the paracord. This is the top, okay? I'm just going to try a granny knot. Like so. Right, that's all I'm going to do. Is twist. So you got your bipod. You can adjust it to, set it to whatever height you need. You can also use trekking poles. But I'm using them. So the next stage, I've laid the top out, uh, the poncho out in a diamond formation because we're going to do it as a plow point. So I'm just going to stake the back, the back end out now. Forty-five degree angle. There we go. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking a toggle. I'm poking my loop I made through the grommet. Putting the toggle in. Locking it down. So now we're at that stage. So now we've got our, bod, our bipod in, in place. I've got the paracord coming through the V. And I'm just going to peg it out now into the ground here. So I've pegged the front end out now using the trucker's hitch knot. I'm just going to peg the two sides out. So there you've got the freestanding shelter in a plough point configuration. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give myself some more room at the back end. I'll show you how now. This is one way of doing it, okay? So it's tight and paracord around the hood, looped around the branch. I'm going to elevate it that way, okay? That's one way of doing it. You just put a, a 
hitched on inside there. Keep it in place. So I've just cut the branch, probably about 18 inches long. I'm going to round the corner off now. So rounded the corner off. What I'm going to do now, and I'm going to use some material in my basher bag and put it over the top. I'm going to go to the end of the shelter. I'm going to prop the feet end up using that. It makes sense now. So there you go, a freestanding poncho shelter. So we've got a bipod here at the front which I showed you and I've got a small 18 inch branch inside there I've rounded the edge as you've seen and I've put some cloth you could use your cap or a sock, a spare sock or something just, just so it doesn't tear the, the top There it is Took about two minutes to put up So there's one more configuration As I say there are trees around here but it's just a demonstration See, he was in the middle of a field. Bingo. We need to go just make a, a bipod. Let's have a look around. It's a slow profile as well, as you can see, for our stealth campers. Plenty of room inside. I got my little rucksack in there. If I wanted to, I could make a little fire in front. Obviously, dig it into the ground. Low profile again. There's a freestanding poncho shelter in a plow point configuration. So, look how much room we got inside. Just gonna get inside, guys. There you go guys, bags of room in here, out of the elements, superb. So there's another configuration for you guys. As I said on the last video with the poncho, if you're a hiker or backpacker, Absolutely incredible bit of kit to carry on with just some paracord and some stakes and you're uh, you're in business like plenty of room here guys it's a bag there obviously I sleep the air then descend all round vision in front plenty of leg room now because I've elevated it as I said you can elevate it up using the hood around the tree but if I haven't got nothing around here in the middle of a field that's what you would use, you'd use a stick at the back Happy days! Right then guys, I'm bugging out um, I hope you like this little video some more ideas for you again um, I keep saying it but hikers and backpackers, caravanners, anything just get a poncho guys, right? I'll put a link down below where I had mine from it's a place called Mill Tech, okay? Uh, give us a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't already give us a subscribe guys, plenty of stuff coming in I got a cracker coming tomorrow night absolutely brilliant, just hope the postman arrives over and out guys, see you on the next one.